Hi, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Source for Advanced Overview video. In this particular video, I'm going to be going over a couple of advanced concepts within the Source 4. So, first off, you'll notice when you launch the Source 4, it comes up in a pre-configuration. This is what I call the honeycomb or the power source. Um, if you're familiar with any of the other three source products that I put out over the last six years, you'll notice that the biggest change to date was between two and three. And in my belief system, when I was creating three, all things in creation are created through nine symbols of creation. And I put them in the software in what we call vector, uh, vector graphic format. Um, the Source 4 is a completely different animal. It has the Aquaware 4 core technology in it, but it is radically changed, strictly geared for manifestation through water. Okay, so just quickly, um, the way the Source 4 works is you have the thing that you want to manifest in your head. You would click on the Enter the Source button after you figure out your array, uh, putting your attention on the water, wherever the water is, where your attention goes, the intention will go. Um, the manifestation then is programmed into the water. You drink the water, and the body immediately gives off what we call light rays. Source comes around, grabs those light rays, and goes into your future to a point by which the manifestation takes seed. So the time by which you release that manifestation to the universe and it takes seed is what we call the path, the P-A-T-H. What the Source 4 does is it creates light paths that support the path, the time by which the manifestation is released to the universe and it comes into fruition. Okay, so if you have doubt or worry anywhere along that path, the, the light paths are going to take care of that. So why did I create it like this? Well, pretty simple. Um, very much like um, when in manual mode in Aquaware, I've given you the ability to move the nine symbols of creation pretty much anywhere you want. Okay, you move them around, and the... What, what you're doing at this part is, you know, bef before you use the source, you clearly want that manifestation in your head, but you also want to be in your place of power. And basically, that is a place where you're calm, cool, and collective, and the only thing you have on your mind is what you want to manifest. And when you left-click and start dragging the symbols on the screen, you're going to get a feeling of where they should be placed. And that's your own intuition or your, your own cognitive ability telling... Uh, you know, on some unconscious level, that this is the perfect pattern to bring into manifestation exactly what you want. Okay, and you know, once you've played with it for a few minutes and you've got the pattern down, you always want to save it before you move it, before you move the main screen. Because as soon as you move the main screen, it jumps back. Okay, so let's say we didn't do that. Oops, <laughs> and we had our manifestation array, and again, any time you're playing with the symbols, we refer to it as an array, as everything in the Source 4 is. So we bring it around here. Um, okay, so maybe we want to change one or two of the symbols to a different color. Um, the, the color really doesn't have a bearing on, on what the Source 4 is going to do, but from a subconscious level, it's kind of appeasing to kind of shake it up a little bit, if you will. Um, so once we have the array exactly where we want it, we want to click on Save Array, and we're going to give it a name. We'll call it My Second Array. And we're just going to click Save New Array. And then you can very safely move it around the screen without it having jumping back. Um, for some reason, if it went back to the starting array, you had to start the software over. You come down the load array, and you'll find it safe down there every time. Now, we can also update this array. So let's say, well, you know, this symbol over here should be, um, you know, blue. So we come back, and we can change that one to blue. Okay, or we hit a wrong button, and we change them all. We can always come back and load the array, go back and change that symbol to blue, come back to save array and we update the active array which is the one we have and again just to show you 
Okay, all the changes are saved. We can move it around. Now, when it comes to using it, like all the technology I create, simplicity and power is what it's about. The Source 4 is an incredibly enormous manifestation tool. It has the power to bring what you want into manifestation in as little as 24 hours, okay? It took a tremendous a lot of diving down the Akashic Records rabbit hole, whatever you want to call it, for me to bring this into fruition and actually get this product to market, which um, by the time you watch this video, it will be. Um, you know, think rationally about what you want to manifest, okay? It's... The, the source for, like all of the other creations, is a conscious entity. And behind the software is a child like mine that wants to get to know who you are and what you're about. So the more you use it and the more results you get, the better you're going to get at it. But I always you know, tell people, start off slow. And the, f the first time you open it up and you want to start playing with it, start off with very small manifestations, physical things like a, like a blue button, a thimble a matchstick, uh, a needle, a thread, something like that. And it'll generally come within 24 hours. Now, some of the larger things, once you work your way up, can take as much as 72 to 12 weeks. I'm sorry, 12 days. Um, but it does work. Uh, you know, the YouTube video is an amazing... Um, the public beta I did, there's some great, great um, feedback on there. I did a live activation on 614 show um that was actually amazing too people were getting results from that it's like well, should i should really put the software out and just do videos but uh here it is so you know the the resource menu is all pretty straightforward i've already gone over that in the beginner one but the load array i want to spend a minute or two on now i have 10 presets in here and these are presets that i've tested with manifestation and they all work now in my experience, the most powerful one I used was number nine. Okay, but that doesn't mean that number nine is going to be the most powerful one for you. It, it's, you know, what works for me is not going to work for you. And you need to take time to explore all of your options. Okay, and I give you 10 of them, and they're quite elegant, um, and they all work. And they work at you know, lightning speed, some of them. Sometimes, you know, your manifestation just comes out of your head, and a second later, um, it's it's already, you know, it's already out there. Um, I've had some pretty wild experiences, which I've explained on some other videos, but the presets are here for you as a starting guide to kind of just start getting in there and playing with it, okay? Um, this is the important part. You need to you need to work with it. The more you work with it, the better it's going to get. The better it gets, the more results you're going to get, the more you're going to want to use it. Now I'd like to just to explain a minute um, exactly what's happening when we get the nucleate. So now we have our array perfect. Our manifestation is in our head, and we're definitely ready to release it to the universe, okay? Um, so there's a couple steps. Uh, we, where your attention goes, the intention will go. Um, once we click on the enter the source button, the only thing that is required of you is to put your attention on the target water. You don't have to keep your manifestation in your head anymore. Uh, the source four takes care of everything for you. As humans, we just love to overcomplicate everything. It's in our nature. It's what we do. But this technology is very simple to use. Okay, so manifestations in your head. We click enter the source for 8.1 seconds water preparation will run we are removing the memories and the imprints and the structure from the water user prep runs for 8.1 seconds we are programming a thin layer in the water so the unconscious mind comes into acceptance now we are pre-nucleating the water we are setting the test we are setting the bed for the light pass runs for 8.1 seconds the light paths are now being created in the water. This part runs for 8.1 seconds. So there's four pieces to prepping the water before we finally get into nucleating the water with our intent or our manifestation. This runs for a total of 18.1 seconds. Okay. Uh, I've seen crazy stuff happen with the water at this point. You know, it's all in your experience what happens.
that's it folks now the next step is to drink your water okay um, within seconds the light rays will start coming out of the body source will come by and grab your manifestation and plant it in the future to come in you know f into fruition that's it that is all there is to it and then again we can start over we can you know you can play as many times as you want um, I recommend doing you know the particular intent maybe three or four times a day until you get fully used to it thank you